Hi, welcome again. Today I'm going to show you the real time terrain editing mode of Terrain Magic. It's super fast and fluid. Let me show you. All right, now I'm going to create a volcano out of this, and here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to create uh, some uh, on this landscape and click this uh, button over here, and it will enable the preview mode of our terrain. Okay, and then I'm going to select my landscape clip, right? And I'm going to do some fading over here because this is a noise generated uh, landscape. All right, uh, box or circular. I'm going to go with circular. And I'm gonna set the fade minimum to like this one and I can yeah I think I'm gonna stick with this one maybe all right yep okay this looks good you can see the changes happening in real time okay nice I'm gonna grab a copy of this I'm gonna hit alter and grab a copy like this okay and I'm gonna rescale it to the something like this all right then I'm gonna change the height of this to like somewhere around like maybe just a couple of uh, yeah maybe 2000 some some range like this okay 5000 that's fine i'm simply eyeballing this and i'm gonna do it like this okay and maybe i'm gonna yeah yeah i'm gonna change the scale a little bit now i'm gonna play a little bit with this fading over here all right okay yeah i think i'm gonna like this and now i'm gonna rescale it no i think yeah this I mean this works better okay as you, as you can see i can uh, very easily edit my landscape and get real-time feedback now if i'm done with here i can hit this uh, button again now i have the landscape over here so it looks like a simple volcano maybe right if you want to do more changes quite simple get this and you can change it like this also i'm gonna create some sort of like entry point over here it's quite easy i'm gonna grab a copy like this Put it down a little bit, maybe scale like this. Okay, grab another copy and put it over here. Maybe scale it a little bit. Like, right, likewise, I mean, the things you can do is really interesting. And uh, now we have the uh, Earth landscape clips as well. You can get maps from the uh, real world data and do very interesting things. I hope uh, you will use this feature and uh, it's so powerful and super cool. If you're already using Terrain Magic, this is basically all you have to know. But if you haven't used Terrain Magic before, and I'm going to start from scratch so you can see how everything can be done. Right, first I'm going to delete everything in my landscape. I'm going to keep a simple empty landscape. Right, now we have a fresh landscape over here. So basically there's a landscape and I have a simple material apply over here this is open land i'm using as the material but you can use any landscape material and we have a simple uh, sun and sky setup so you can simply use a sky atmosphere or any any uds or any sky setup you have then we need to have a plugin called Terra magic added to your project and check the description below on how we can get it so after you added that little engine and go to the plugins and search for terrain magic and make sure you have added that into your project okay and then uh, select your landscape and search for edit layer. So this is a functionality in uh, landscapes. So we need to enable this edit layers functionality. So we are using some of the uh, tools in this uh, feature and that's how we interact with the landscape. You need to make sure to add that. All right. And then uh, you need to go to uh, landscape mode and go to the sculpt section over here. And uh, you need to go to the blueprint brushes. You can see over here and here from the drop down, select the brush called terrain magic clip brush you need to select this one and click somewhere on the screen then you will get actor like this and that's all you need from over here i'm gonna go to this normal select mode right now i'm gonna interact with my landscape and create something um, interesting okay first uh i'm gonna go to my place actors tab and you can get this from uh, window uh, place actors and here first i'm gonna get a base landscape clip so it will set the base for my landscape i'm gonna drag that in, into my scene and then I can go to my details panel over here and here I can set the base value it's set for zero so as a ground level and also you can set the uh, absolute minimum as the ground level as well but you can see it doesn't do any changes that's because after you made some changes you need to click this uh, invalidate button over here that's how we, we can change stuff so here it's called absolute maximum or you can set the absolute uh, minimum and click this invalidate button that's it will change the it will apply the changes into landscape but now we have a, a real-time preview mode you no longer need to like click this button or some the invalidate button over here you can simply hit this uh this new uh, icon a preview mode icon 
it will uh, create a, a simple uh, plane like this but you can see the actual landscape below over here this is uh, like a preview mesh so basically you can see changes in real time okay as so basically I, I can set it to zero it will come up it will go to the maximum it will come up like this all right i'm gonna set this to absolute minimum so that's my uh, base uh, landscape level so now we are trying to create a volcano and here's how we're gonna do it i'm gonna search for noise landscape clip so it's a landscape that you can create using noises uh procedural noises i'm gonna drag that into my landscape over here you can immediately see some changes all right cool go to details panel and so basically you can like place it anywhere you like or you can simply scale it manually but there's a handy uh, function called match landscape size so basically it will scale that into your whole landscape okay cool so now now we have it so this is a uh, like a yeah noise based landscape cool and there are some changes you have so it's a um, it's used a noise called mountain noise so basically you can do some changes you can get more details like this also you can add some more contrast or something like this and there are so many changes you can do and also you can change the seed yeah you can i mean like there are so many options we have but now i'm not going to explain all those things we have a separate video on that and check the description below on how to use this noise based landscape system right now i'm gonna do some fading over here so basically it will uh, fade at the edges i'm gonna do let's say circular fade all right cool and then i can set the mask span so it will uh, consider how much of my la like lands landscape is going to fade here i'm gonna set to one um, actually no some value like this you can always change that and then about saturation like i can do things like this uh i'm gonna put some value like this okay i like it and then uh, fade minimum so it's set to zero minimum value but i'm gonna set the height map range output min so it will talk to this base level okay right now this is good right then i'm gonna grab a copy of this hit alter and yeah grab a copy now i'm gonna rescale it like this okay, cool and now i'll go to the uh, height change section now basically this is another landscape clip height section modify height section i can set the height value i'm gonna set that to like close to yeah something like this and then i can put it like this I put it down or up like you can totally work with this and uh, right now i'm gonna change the scale like this and yeah this is our simple volcano cool all right now so after you have done any changes you can hit this uh, icon again so basically you need to click uh, somewhere on the landscape and now we have our new landscape all right uh you can go close over here it's a real landscape you can you can play with that all right so basically it's a real landscape okay cool okay let's do another demo uh so here i'm gonna use the real world uh, landscape data i'm gonna delete the existing landscape clip i'm gonna set the base like this and i'm gonna hit this uh invalidate button so you can also click alter q that's also gonna work right now i'm gonna go to a place like this again i'm gonna grab another landscape clip called earth landscape clip right i'm gonna drag that into my scene again just like earlier i'm gonna scale that to solve my landscape match landscape size in this case it will uh, grab some data because i already have some data over here that's why it will show but in your case it will be empty right then i'm gonna hit the preview mode again right here on this landscape clip we have something called open the map so basically it will open a map for me now basically it's a real map so i mean like it's a world uh you you can go to any way i like and you can click on the landscape and select a place i think i like a place like this so you can always search for google and get the coordinates and go to that specific place as well and also we have another uh, long tutorial on how to use that here it will show me a code and basically if you click that it will copy into the clipboard so that's all we have i'm gonna close this map so now i go to my actor and here on the uh, like earth landscape clip in general we have a section called tile info string i'm gonna paste that and then i'm gonna hit uh, download tile over here or alter d shortcut and it will download the map for me and now we now we have it all right cool this is the map i want now i'm gonna do a little bit of fading over here just like earlier fading i'm gonna hit the uh, box fading over here and fade mask span i'm gonna do a little like this uh yep all right cool okay 
and also I'm gonna set the fade minimum to yeah this range uh, minimum and now we have a simple uh, yeah landscape okay cool maybe I can increase this uh, height of this landscape if I uh, wanted uh, let's give it a try modify height I'm gonna increase a little bit not really yeah so this this is just fine or maybe I can uh, scale it like this okay can do it okay yeah so basically you can play with this and also you can uh yeah put it like so then it will gonna clip but you don't want to do that i'm gonna put a value like this all right i'm gonna stick with this so now we have a landscape over here uh but uh, you can see it's not that high poly and actually uh yeah it doesn't have some details that's the reason is uh, right now our, our data source is it's not that high definition but we will work on it uh, like a proper database source but i can enable the landscape mode now we have it this but in this case i'm really uh, happy to add some noise into my landscape on top of this so it will get some more extra details so let's do that i'm gonna go to place actors again i'm gonna grab a noise landscape clip that we have used earlier okay and then i'm gonna do match uh, landscape size okay it will expand to my whole landscape cool but in this case we have a blend mode called a copy so it will copy the existing one but i'm gonna hit the uh, blend mode to add so it will add the value to my existing one cool and then i'm gonna change the height multiplier multiplier to like quite uh, yeah some value like this right and then i can do some uh, yeah so you can see the uh, the one after and also i can do some fading for this as well a little box blade if fade and yeah something like this yeah now we have it now i can add some more details into my mountain noise to get some more extra bit of details uh, here we have core mountain uh, noise details i'm gonna increase that you can see it will add some yeah some some actual data over here this is too much but i'm gonna uh, go value like this maybe yeah and also i'm gonna increase the sharpness a little bit so get more details out of here I can play with this contrast value and I can also play with the uh, uh, height as well like here modify height I can it's put a very low value but you can increase it like get more details I mean you can easily play with this and get some more details into my landscape and if you uh, do a before and after this is before it's quite flat but now we with the noise it will looks quite nice always you can go uh, over here and check whether it's it's, it's working for you or not uh, in this case i'm gonna go to the actual landscape and see whether it's really good or not right now you have it i think it's quite a bit like like edgy and i don't really need this much of noise in this case i'm gonna go here i'm gonna reduce the noise again a little bit like this yeah maybe uh, maybe i can change the height as well basically it's just playing around with this and and, and trying to find the best value for you right i think i'm gonna stick with this so basically likewise you can uh, play with this and create something uh, something really nice you have all the tools you need and uh, with the real time mode everything is so fluid and you can do instant changes so for fun all right uh this is it for today and we are working on so many cool features and 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 i'm thinking about like building a, a, a whole new landscape system based on this preview mode uh, with the tech that we are using over here because so fluid and we can create a massive uh, landscape over this but it's a long shot uh don't expect to be uh, happen that in maybe this year maybe early next year we can see a, a preview of that uh all right um again uh, see you soon with something interesting bye